Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to talk about a new CMS. This is Grav, and I'm going to show you how to install it on Docker using Portainer. Again, all the information in the description below. Any question, just leave a comment. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and share. Now, without any delay, let's go and start. It's going to be quite fast. As I said, there are many different ways to install it. We're going to install it on Docker. Here you find all the information you need to get started. And also I'm going to leave you the documentation to install it on Docker. This information is on docker.com hub. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the code that we need. We're going to go to Portainer. We're going to go to Stacks and we're going to add a new stack. I'm going to call it grav. I'm going to paste it. Now, let me bring in the, there we go. Um, that's the terminal. Now, if you type ID, you will get your uh, UID and GID. In my case, it will be 1000. And as you can see, 1000 is already there, so I don't need to change it. I'm going to change my time zone to Europe, and I'm going to change the volume. Now, I'm going to install it. Let me have a look here. I'm going to do it in home Docker, all right? And I'm going to, of course, add the directory where I want to install the, download the actual information, by the way. So that's where I'm going to use the volume, all right? So it's going to be home Docker and Grav, all right? So that's going to be Grav there. And I'm going to change it to config. There we go. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the port here. Logically, 80 is already being used by the proxy manager. Let's go, and I'm going to choose 85 for this. And once I'm done, I'm going to press deploy the stack. All right, so the stack has been deployed, and we got it here. Let's go to the containers. We go grav. Let's go to logs. And let's have a look what is doing. It looks like the actual installation is still going. So we're going to leave it a few more minutes. Right, go back to containers. Let me click on this and see what is going on. Now I do, I am running, as you can see, it's still doing. I'm running on a very slow machine. So that's, that's the reason why it takes time. And then we can see here that has been done. So let's create the user that we're going to use as an admin. And I'm going to create the user. All right, so as you can see, that's been done. Uh, we logged in and we also got a new password. So we are ready to go now and we can actually have a look what it looks like in the front end. So this is the actual front end. Then if you type the IP with slash admin, you will see the admin side. Let's go to configuration. Now, this is the first time I'm installing this CMS. One of the users wanted to know how to install it on Docker. He had problems. He tried to do with uh, Docker Compose, but he wanted to do something much easier. He's not, uh, didn't have much experience on those uh, Docker Compose. So I said, I'm sure you could do it with Portainer. And here we go, we got it with the Portainer. So that's all we got to do. And as I said, this is the first time I'm looking at for the first time with you. And it looks quite straightforward. Um, I am not 100% sure how you actually uh, add pages, remove pages. So maybe I'm going to do a new tutorial in the future on how to get started with Grav. At this moment in time, I'm looking where is the actual uh, information about the URL because it might be a problem with the actual port. Um, but again, I know you can find, uh, you can actually add plugins. Now let's go back on here. And again, you will find this uh, in the description below as well, the actual link with some of the plugins for, um, for Graph. This is the email where you can actually install um, I think you can do it with Google Mail, you can do it with MailGAN, MailJet, Zoho, and so on. Send mail as well. Maybe you're going to use send mail anyway. But again, all the information in the description below. Let's go back to the admin side. 
it looks like you can actually check for updates as well and everything looks good so those are the plugins as you can see there all right that is the administration path and i think i'm not sure if we can actually add 85 here as we go the port there let's see if it makes me save it or no it says error there so yeah we go 85 85 so let's go back so it looks like it that i have well let me do this a second 85 just in case no it's still error there i know you're not supposed to do this but i think i made a mistake there let's go back and type admin again it might be a problem yeah it doesn't exist and the reason why because i put 85 in front of the actual on actual path there right so uh, i had to change a little bit part of the configuration as i put the port there in the wrong way so yeah don't do that as you can see here the url doesn't have the port so now everything looks good and it works with the port as you can see so yeah everything is done so you shouldn't have any problems on the cover it was just my me my my bad to put the port okay so anything else works fine so again guys uh plugins as i said again uh, it's the first time i'm doing it so i'm going to look a little bit more onto this and i will do another tutorial on how to get started with the graph it's a quite uh, basic program as i can see here um there is much really we got uh let me refresh that i'm going to show you how to get the pages so you click on pages you go to root home and topography if i go to root this is the actual page itself you can go and i think you can actually create a new page as you can see up here or you can create folders or even add modules configurations caching it's quite fast i must be honest um so i think it is worth it to look into it here you can actually edit the page with the content you got the options you can publish it and publish it the dates metadata taxonomies now we got advanced yeah it's quite as i said guys quite easy um as i can see here you got the security with the menu visibility yes and no you could get page access page permissions i'm not sure if you can actually password protected like you do some pages with wordpress is something good to have a look into it and here we got a theme that comes as default technically is this one here now i don't know how you i know you add it oh as you can see there are so many uh, well presume they're all free let's have a look something easy let's install this one here photographer let's continue let's have a look how long it takes right now it didn't take that much uh, activate photographer continue let's go back here yeah okay we got quark is the original and this is the new one so let me refresh that and let's have a look and yeah as i, I can see it that's been done i'm sure you can easily edit this page through the pages here let's have a look so technically that says a look to graph supposed to be this one here now i don't know how to edit the header and the footer so but i'm sure that i can find it somewhere well it's something i will have to have a look into um the manual there and have a look how you do it anyway apart from that guys thanks so much for joining me for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share and i'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.